is Hype Says alongside Aiki the DJ. And together, together, we want to welcome you to Mavuno Kids Online Service. Yeah, you guys look so amazing and so excited for the service. Today, we have a surprise dancer as well as a teacher. So please, boys and girls, put your hands together one time, two times. For the one and only teacher Lydia. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. All right, that's the fastest she can run, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, so now this song that you're about to sing and dance, it's a song that, done by Mavuno Church. So, Ike, you ready to do to give us that song? It says Jesus is a wonder worker. You ready? Let's go. Ah. Ah. Just move from side to side. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. Studio day. We are starting nice and easy, okay? Papa and then next I'm going to ask you to put your hands here. Ah! And then to shake your hands. Even heaven is locked in on this one. Hey, turn it. Uh-huh. Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Fire, one, two. Now we are getting ready. Now follow me. One, two, go. Turn it. Jesus, my Lord. something they were singing a labare what's the meaning Jesus you are such a cunning teacher they just translated yes all right all right all right so uh 
It's always a fun moment just singing and dancing for the Lord. Even as young people, as kids, that's where we get our joy in the presence of the Lord. And you know what? The Bible says that Jesus is the true vine. He's the vine and we are the branches. And so right now, whoever remains in him, they shall bear more fruit. And so lift up your hands to Jesus, who is the vine. And just begin to worship him right now through this song. Thank you, Jesus. You are the vine and we are the branches. And we choose to remain in you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We are the branches. We are the branches. Keep us abiding in you. We must abide in Him because He's divine. Just swim from side to side. You are the vine. Sing and say, We are the branches. We are the branches. We must abide in Him. Your hands like this and swing like a tree. Come on. glorify you, we exalt your holy name. Indeed, you are the vine, and we are the branches. And Lord, we choose to abide in you. We choose to remain in you. And so Lord, we remain in you that you may be transformed and not to conform the patterns of the world. So help us, O oh God, that you may drive strength from you, that you may drive the, the resources needed to help us to remain as branches of the vine. So Lord, be lifted high, be glorified. Even as you continue with the service, I take full control, Even heaven. that you may be glorified and magnified. In Jesus' name, pray and believe. Amen. Come on. He's the one who makes the sun shine. Puts the moon in the sky He's the one who hung the star Kids family, welcome to week two. We are so excited to be here and to have you watching us. Hmm. Hey, boys and girls. So good. So, 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 so good to see you today. Welcome to Mavuna Kids Service. 
And today, I'm with teacher B for Bobby. Hi, teacher B. How you doing? I know you know when you introduce <laughs> me like that, you're going to make me nervous. But ah, <laughs> nervousness is not a gift of the Holy Spirit. I know, but... It's uh, not. <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, but hi, teacher Brenda. Hi, teacher B. B for B. B for Brenda. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm, I'm super fine. I'm so excited to be here once again with the kids. Yay! You know, it's always a good time when we have you with us on, an, on another Mavuno Kids lesson. And being week, 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 week two, two week into dos. our Summon series. <laughs> and guess we are continuing with our series of Rediscovering Jesus. Yeah. So, Teacher B, during this time, mm-hmm. what have you discovered about Jesus? Oh, first of all, it's so good to see you, Teacher B. It's been a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I have learned so, so much. But my favorite, my favorite thing was the bread. Because, I mean, bread is sweet, right? Yeah. <laughs> but so is the word of God. So is Jesus. I learned that Jesus is the bread of life. He takes care of our physical and spiritual needs. And I also learned that he is a good good shepherd who guides us. He guides me. Does he guide you? Does he guide you? He does. He does. He does. <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's an amazing one. Um, yeah. And for me, uh, like last week's lesson that uh, Jesus say that I am the way, mm-hmm. the truth, mm. and the life. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And you get to know that when I follow Jesus, he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life, and he's that, that life lives in me. Yeah. And so now, this week, I want you to take it away, Teacher B. Tell us, tell us, tell us. So what are we learning this week? First of all, I need need, need the children to be excited about this. Are are they excited? Are they excited? Drum rolls, drum rolls, drum rolls. But before we do that, you know how we do it here. We have to call upon the Holy Spirit to be with us, to help us learn and understand uh, as uh, as we go on with this lesson. So boys and girls... Hands together, eyes closed, heads bowed. Let us pray. Our dear Father, our dear Heavenly Father, we come before you um, this amazing, amazing uh, day. We are so grateful for the gift of life. My Father and my God, as we continue on this path that is rediscovering you, uh, may we um, just continue to learn that you indeed are the truth, the way, and the light. You are a good, good shepherd. So guide us. We call upon the Holy Spirit to just fill this place. Um, and just uh, guide us through and help us just have fun and learn as much as possible in, uh, during this lesson. For we pray this trusting and believing in the mighty name of Jesus and all God's children said, A to the Amen. M to the E to the N. They said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> so as we dive, I'd, la- I'd want to ask us a question. Teacher B. Yes. Teacher B. Tell me. Teacher Bobby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the things that we do to help us grow? Ah. Mm-hmm. Sleep early. Especially. <laughs> I'm convinced I need 12 hours of sleep. Uh, yeah, that's excessive. <laughs> but yes, sleep well. Yes. Having good foods. Oh. Such as vegetables, you know. KFC. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> having good food, okay. Having a balanced diet, having vegetables, having broccolis, yes. having cas- capsicums mm. in your food, you know. Yum yum. And uh, having proteins like chicken. KFC. And my, no. <laughs> <laughs> and my own very favorite chapati. Oh. And you know we say that chapati saban is snack. <laughs> so <laughs> that helps us to grow. But we also need to take water. Oh, lots, lots. and lots yes, of water. Yes, completely. How many glasses a day? Minimum eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That is so true. Yes, we eat the right food to help us grow strong and stay healthy. In the same way, boys and girls, Jesus also helps us to grow in our faith. Ay, 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 yeah. But here's the thing. Only if we stay connected to him, you know? He also wants us to be full of good works, doing things that bless other people and our friends and families. Yes. So true, so true, Teacher Brenda. Yeah. And boys and girls, why don't we open our Bibles and read from John chapter 15, verses 5 to 6, and see what Jesus says. I am the true vine. You are the branches. 
if you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. 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 If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that has been that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. So, boys and girls, hmm? mm. think about a mango tree. Let's imagine this is uh, the mango tree. It has oh, roots, yummy, yummy. it has branches, it has its own leaves. Mm -hmm. So this is the mango tree, if you look at it. And fruits are only found in branches. You cannot have a fruit without a branch. <laughs> yeah? That's true. And what would happen, let's say, if we disconnected this from everything that is below? Oh. What do you think it will happen if we disconnected? If I cut this leaf uh -huh. right now, uh -huh. what do you think will happen if I cut this? Do you think this, what, what will happen to this? I honestly think it would die. It would. It would die. Exactly. Yeah. So the branches would die because they are no longer connected to the source of life. So... You and I need to be connected to Jesus. He is our source of life, the true vine. That is so true, Brenda. Yeah. So just like a fruit is connected to a branch that is connected to a tree, mm -hmm. you and I need to be connected to Jesus. Oh, yes. He is our source of life, mm -hmm. the true vine. The true, true, true vine. Indeed, indeed. Yes, in order for us to grow, Teacher B, in our faith and in our good works, we need to be connected to Jesus, boys and girls. Yeah. Yeah. So, Teacher Brenda. Yes. How do you think we stay connected to Jesus? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> we just keep saying connection, connection, connection. It's yeah. like doing the wave, like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm so, I'm so, so glad you asked this, Teacher B. We stay connected by, one, reading our B-I-B-L-E's, that's our Bibles, by praying, by going to church, and listening to teachings like this one, Teacher B and I are having, about Jesus. When we do this, we learn to be followers of Jesus and have good fruit in our lives. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. And, you know, this is so... This is such a helpful thing for the kids to learn. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that I'm glad that when we stay connected to Jesus, we grow in our faith mm -hmm. and we become full of fruit and we're able to do great works in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You know, the other thing that happens when we stay connected to Jesus mm -hmm. is that he helps us stop doing all the things that stop us from being fruitful, from being people and the children who are rooted in him and who... Do not bear fruit because Mimi, I don't want to be like that vine which will be thrown in fire. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't want to die. Yeah, I want to stay connected to Jesus. Exactly, He's my best friend. Yes. Oh no. Mm. All right, but that is so true, Teacher B. Yes, boys and girls, Jesus helps us grow in the good things and also helps us to stop doing things that are not good. For example, if I'm connected to Christ, then I know that stealing is wrong. I know that I need to obey my parents. I know that I need to be helpful around the house, you know? Yes. He leads us to the truth and also washes away our sins. We become as white as... Snow. <laughs> Snow. <laughs> now, boys and girls, it's time for our memory verse. And our memory verse comes from John, John 15, 15, chapter 4. Four. So let's listen to it in song. <laughs>
So boys and girls. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Keep planning the memory of us and remember to mm-hmm. teach it to our friends. Yeah. Yeah. Sharing is caring. Like mm-hmm. we've we've learned in our previous sermon series, like you you are the light. So you shine the light of Jesus by sharing. Remember to stay connected to Jesus so that you can grow in faith in your good works. Yes, yes. I want to stay connected to Jesus so that yeah. I can grow and have so much mango fruit. I mean, sorry. So that I can have so much fruit. <laughs> <laughs> But boys and girls, it's that time for us. We do not like this time. We really do not. I know. We really do not like this time. But we really, really hope that the lesson has been impactful to you, that you have learned that you need to be... Connected. connected. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now, it's that time. Yeah. We started the lesson with the, uh, by inviting the Holy Spirit. Now you have to thank him for being with us, okay? Right. So boys and girls, hands together, hands, uh, hands together, eyes closed, heads bowed. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we acknowledge you as the true vine. We acknowledge that we need to be connected to you uh, and just to know you more, my Father and my God. We acknowledge that... Uh, when we are connected to you, uh, that we we get discernment for things that are to how to, we just get discernment to know what is good and what is bad. My Father and my God, we just want to say thank you, thank you because we are connected to you. Thank you because when we are connected to you, we become fruitful and we bear so much fruit. We pray that this lesson that we have learned, we shall not keep it to ourselves, but we shall connect uh, with somebody else who needs to know that they need to be connected to you. So thank you so much, my Father and my God, for the gift, first of all, of life and for just the gift of just gathering here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. As we go um, about uh, our week, we pray for guidance and for protection. For we pray this trust and believing in the mighty name of Jesus and all God's children said. Amen. I said all God's children said. Amen. I said all God's children said. Amen. <laughs> so thank you boys and girls hey. for being with us for this lesson we'll see you next Sunday see ya stay Bye-bye. connected <laughs>